Hi, welcome to Stairs Menswear. Uh, another short video, uh, this time talking about ties and the importance of doing a good tie. So uh, I will show you towards the end uh, how to do a, uh, a good tie. There are lots of different knots out there. Uh, my favourite is the Double Windsor um, and I'll explain why in a moment. More importantly, the reason why it's important to do a good tie is uh, it really finishes the outfit. If you've made the real effort with your outfit and then you've got a scruffy tie or a skew with tie, um, it will draw the eye and it will draw dress down the outfit. I've noticed quite a lot recently, uh, many presenters on the TV are doing what we call a schoolboy knot, which is like this one here. Um, yeah, it does its job. You have got a tie on, but hopefully you can see it's definitely not symmetrical and it just looks like it's been minimum effort. So um, what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you how to do a double Windsor. So if it's for your wedding day, if it's for an important uh, occasion, actually, um, hopefully you'll agree at the end, the difference between this one and the double Windsor is that it will look symmetrical, it will hold firm all day uh, and it will just make you look that little bit smarter. Yep. Okay, so starting uh, with the tie back in uh, kind of neutral. Um, so in terms of the length of the tie, it really depends whether you're wearing it with a waistcoat or not. If I'm wearing it as a three piece, then I don't need to worry about the length of where it's going to sit. And I'm more worried about how big the knot's gonna be and how that's gonna look. The reason for that is because the tie can end up anywhere and it's gonna be hidden behind the waistcoat. It doesn't really, really matter. However, if you're gonna be wearing it as a two piece, like maybe I am today, just undo this, then obviously the tie ideally needs to be sitting around by our waistband. I don't need to worry too much about that today, but general rule is you might have to have a couple of goes at that to get that to the right length. I always kind of do it so pick a shirt button or an area, tie your tie. If it's too long or too short, then just start again, readjust it at a different position and have another go. That's a good way of getting the right length. So starting for the double Windsor. So you've got your, your slim end and your, your fatter end. So we're gonna get the slimmer end underneath. So the fatter end's going over and then we're just gonna come over the top like that and then back down, but going down on the opposite position that we were. So we've gone up this way and we're gonna come down this side here. And then I'm gonna pull that round the back. So I'm here. If you notice, I'm, I'm not pulling it really tight, but I'm keeping, keeping it taut. So it makes a nice triangular type position here. And then I'm gonna go back up again the same way I went up the last time. There are other ways of doing a double Windsor. So this is just the way that I like to do it. Again, I'm not gonna pull it tight, but I am gonna keep it taut. Again, you can start seeing this nice triangular shape here. So I've gone up one side through the front and I'm coming back down the opposite side. Now I'm gonna go right across the front. And then when I do this, I like to tuck my finger here and then you can already see it starting to take shape. So by holding that there like that, and then coming back up through again, that's already getting the shape. So if I hold that out of the way, you can, you can see we're getting a nice knot there already. And then we're gonna poke the large end through and pull that down. And whilst I'm pulling that down, I'm gonna try and keep maintain the shape. So as I'm pulling that, that is tightening that knot. And then I am slightly giving that a little bit of a pinch, not hard, but helping that shape as I pull that through. And then hopefully you can see that that's given that a really nice shape. And then all you need to do is hold the small end and push the knot up. So I know that this is gonna slide up that way. So I tend to pull the tie around a little bit and then it slides nice and easy. And then as you can see, length, obviously this is a mannequin, so it looks a bit different. Your jeans probably would be sitting about here, but if you wanted it a bit longer, then you just start again and then pull the fatter end down lower and start again and you'll end up with a much longer tie at the end. So collar down and hopefully you'll agree that if you're going to a special occasion, a wedding, somewhere important, that that knot just overall finishes that outfit so much nicer. We've got a nice symmetrical pattern, the tie sitting lovely, and you'll find that it'll hold fast so it won't move around. So it'll stay where you want it to until you're ready to take it off. So there you go, so that's a nice double Windsor. Um, I hope that's been useful and we'll see you again soon.